This tutorial explains how to navigate the Self-Generation Incentive Program Online Incentive Calculator and properly submit a reservation request form to reserve incentive funds for your clean energy project. The Center for Sustainable Energy administers the program for SDG&E customers. Please contact the SSHIP team with any specific questions you may have that are not discussed here. To get started, go to energycenter.org and click on Programs from the top menu bar. Scroll down to Renewable Energy and click Self-Generation Incentive Program. To access the online reservation request form, click on the green button titled Learn About Rebates and select the document library from the taskbar on the left. Next, click Online Reservation Request Form 2015. To get started on the Online Incentive Calculator, select the current program year from the drop-down menu under Proposed System Information. Next, select the Equipment Technology. Select the Fuel Type and Biogas Source, if applicable. Select Yes if there is another generating or storage system on site, including photovoltaic. Now select whether or not the project will export to the grid. You will need to click Validate to move to the next section. Please note that this just ensures that you've entered information into each required box. It does not verify whether the content you have entered is correct. Now, click Equipment Details and enter in the name of the manufacturer of your system. If your system does not automatically appear in the drop-down list after you've typed in the manufacturer's name, please check to see that they are not listed under a different name variation in the drop-down list before proceeding. Select whether or not the manufacturer is an SGIP approved California supplier. Next, you will enter the equipment model, nameplate capacity, SGIP rated capacity, and number of systems. Select Validate to move to the next field. Now you will enter all on-site system information. If there is photovoltaic on-site, you must disclose the system CEC-AC rating and CSI project ID if available. Please refer to the SGIP handbook for more information on paired systems. Lastly, enter the cost for the project. Only enter costs associated with the SGIP system. Now enter the total eligible project cost as seen in this tutorial and without a comma. All other costs for systems also being installed but not eligible for SGIP, photovoltaic for example, would be listed under ineligible project costs. Disclose of a tax credit will be claimed for this project, as well as any additional incentives this project may be receiving. After validating the project finance field, click Calculate. An incentive calculation field will appear with the breakdown of your calculated incentive. After you have verified that all information is accurate, click the Continue to RRF button above the incentive calculation. If you need to go back to this calculation at any time, you can click the Revise Calculation button on the next page. The first piece of information needed for the reservation request form is the SGIP Program Administrator. This will determine who processes your application, and once the form is printed, this cannot be changed without generating a new form. For this tutorial, we have pre-populated the fields. You will enter in the full contact information for the host customer, including the NICS code and the sector. If you are unsure of the NICS code, you can search for the code here. Sector is critical as it determines what will be required for the application to be approved. Continue to fill out the fields for system owner and applicant. You have the option of copying the information from the previous fields if the information remains the same. The applicant is the main point of contact for the application. Lastly, enter in the full address for the project site. If the site changes from what is entered on this form before the application is fully approved, this could be considered a new project, and the application would need to be resubmitted under the current program year if funding is still available. Now we will enter in the utility information for the project. For the purposes of this tutorial, we have pre-populated the fields. First, you will select the electric utility company for the project site. For CSC applications, this should always be San Diego Gas and Electric. Next, enter the utility account name. This should match the host customer's name. 
Select No under Existing Service if this project is new construction or the utility service has not yet been established. If yes, you will enter in the account and meter IDs. Now you will enter in the peak annual demand for the site found either on the electrical bill or requested directly through SDG&E. Select whether or not the account is a demand response participant. If gas utility account information is unknown at this time, it is acceptable to write unknown under the account and meter ID. If needed, you may be asked to provide this information at a later time. If this project includes directed biogas, enter in the full contact information for the supplier in the next fields. After you have filled out the form, click Review and Print to validate the form. Please review the form carefully before proceeding. Once you select Print and Sign at the bottom of the page, you cannot go back to make changes to the form. Written changes or any edits after the form has been generated may not be accepted. A list of required application documents and declarations are listed on the last page of the printout and if you scroll to the bottom of this web page. Next, select Revise RRF and make any corrections to the form or select Print and Sign at the bottom of the page to print the form for signatures. You will have the option to fill out additional RRFs after printing. Once the form is printed, please have all parties sign the form. Please note that SGIP does not accept electronic signatures. We recommend saving this form as a PDF before printing in the event that you need to make copies at a later time. You will provide a submitted copy of the RRF and all application documents as separate PDF attachments in one email to sgip at energycenter.org. Congratulations, you have completed the RRF.